There you go, here we go. How cool is that? Guys, got a new toy. This is the Armour Mojave 4S. When I first saw it, I thought, what's the point? They've already got a 3S Centurn. How much different can it be for like one extra S? Centurn's $330 and the Mojave $500. And I've got a Centurn here, so let's compare. So it's a little bit smaller. The Mojave is quite a bit heavier. Much bigger wheel hexes, 17 millimeters on the Mojave. Let's have a look inside. So the Armour 3 and 4S cars have always been sort of based on plastic. So we've got a plastic chassis, plastic shock towers, plastic drive shafts, pretty much the whole thing plastic. Now I like plastic on bashers because it's cheap, lightweight and durable. Metal chassis seem to be better on race cars, but for bashers, they can have a habit of bending relatively easily. Now this one here is a Scorched RC chassis, the only metal chassis that I've actually not bent yet. Now this one here is the 6S Mojave. So if we look in this one, there's a lot more metal. Metal towers, metal braces, metal chassis, but it does make it a lot heavier, a lot more expensive. And compared to the 4S, there's not actually that much difference in size. So today we're going to take all three of them out and just see which one we like the most. One problem with these short course trucks, when you run them in dirt, the whole thing just fills up with dirt. If you look at this one here, it actually comes, off you come, comes with all these dirt guards that should keep it all clean. Let's have a look at some more techno babble. So there we can see all the dirt protection, metal differential, drive shafts look plastic and metal. There we got the 17 millimeter hexes, four wheel drive, three differentials and it's detailed and tough. So let me be the judge of that. Here, look, we've got more techno babble, more techno babble, more specifications and stuff. As usual, I'm not gonna bore you with all that. So I'm just gonna put a link down below where you can get all those specifications from and where you can buy one from. Battery wires, I'm gonna run it on this power hobby here. However, when you put it in there, look, the wires are knocking on here. Not really sure what this thing is. It's got a little lever on there so you can do that. I don't really know why you would. If you know, let me know in the comments. So I'm just gonna go ahead and Take that off. Beautiful. Now looking at the Centon versus the 4S Mojave, I first thought they're gonna be almost the same, just maybe longer chassis. But now looking at it, it looks like everything is different. Plastic shocks, metal shocks, much bigger drive shafts, bigger wheels and tires. The bulkheads at a glance look the same, but they're actually different. So it looks to be a completely new design. Anyway, waffle, waffle, waffle. Let's go rip. Blah, blah, blah. Hey, Andy and Jason in the house. More crew in the house over here, look. So Andy also has the new Mojave. However, his has issues. I think the ESC's dead. But... I'm a tough baby. Yeah, and that as well, look. And that, what else, what else? What's, what's up with that? No roof skid. Oh, so that one's there, and that one's missing. Yeah. I'm a quality control baby. <laughs> What's that? Sorry, I was doing nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's still flickering even with a separate battery plugged in. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, I had to fix it. Oh, no. <laughs> I think it's a faulty receiver. That's not, that's, that's not Oh, try now, try now. Oh, it's not working at all now. Ooh. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's because you hammered it, man. Can you? <laughs> no. Now try, now try. Why is that not working? You haven't hit it hard enough. I don't understand. You're a bigger hammer. <laughs> oh, that's a good idea. I've got a real hammer. Boom! Got it all fixed. How did you fix it? Oh, it off. oh fitted a Futaba. <laughs> no more poopy spectrum. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, enough waffle. Let's go. Here we are, on location. Andy's going to blast that one there. The Mojave 4S. And I'm going to go with... Uh, let's go for the 6S for now. Uh oh. Uh. Alright, here we go. No, there's no grip. Oh, there's no grip at all. This surface has got zero grippage. Is yours better? Man, you can't use any of the power, it's just sliding. Oh! There's no grip at all. I've got 
got a challenge. How about trying to frisbee it off of that? Do you think you can do it? Yeah. <laughs> so you got to come round here and then sort of spin it round and ah, oh, we've got land on wheels. Tumble wumble. Ah, footage. Oh, <laughs> I'm not giving up till I've done it. Ah, oh, yes. Oh, I've got another challenge. This one normally goes wrong all the time. You don't have to do it if you don't want to. But you take a run up all the way across there. You hit this and you've got to clear the whole entire bowl. Now, if it goes wrong, you smash into Pikachu. It's game over. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh! Was that good? Yeah, <laughs> I'm not trying that. No, I don't blame you. I'll try it my one in a bit though. If it still works, why don't you go for that flat out? What do you reckon? Yeah, why not? All right, well, it's still working. Andy over there is getting second camera angle. Oh, wait, right, here we go. Oh, oh. All right, let's try again. Oh, that bump there, isn't it? All right, here we go. <laughs> Loves it. Oh look, we've got another RC person coming. Oh, I've got to set myself another challenge. I've got to take off from there, down there, hit this and get it over that railing. Now we're going to try the same challenges with both the other cars in a minute. <laughs> now, nope. next up we're going for the drop in. Oh! <laughs> no. Nope. Nope. Oh, look, we're getting laughed at over there. Is it alive? Oh, yes, of course it's alive. This thing is a tank. Let's see if we can get a little bit of grip in here. So, sliding this in the wet is drifting lovely. I'm doing this on my Dumbo radio, so there's no gyro. Oh, I've got a dodgy one. What about flat out along there and then that? What do you reckon? Chassis bender, I reckon that one, isn't it? Let's find out. All right, here we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh! <laughs> Loves it, though. Let's have a look what that scorched part chassis looks like. Loves it. Uh-oh. Broken body mount. Oh, and that one's going. That is really a major weak spot on these. RPM needs to make some. Here we go, next victim, Senton Frias. Oh, we got a racket coming up over there. Who gave you that idea to bring a drifter here? It was you. Oh, is that my fault? That's why I took my one, wasn't it? Oh no, more nitro. So anyway, on to this victim here, this one here. It's running on the Spectrum radio. That means that it's actually got a gyro. So when it slides, the wheels are going to go in the other direction and make it easier to slide. Bloody racket over there. <laughs> Bloody racket. But anyway, this one here, I'm using it on. Where's it gone? That one is on the Dumbo radio. No gyro activated on this one. So hopefully that one is going to drift a bit nicer. All right, plug him in and go. Waffle, waffle, waffle. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, well, it's not really doing much. Oh, <laughs> all right, so we can do this jump here. We've got to go down there and then up there. Here we go. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Next up, the frisbee. Here we go, frisbee. Oh. Frisbee! Oh! Come on, Frisbee! Uh oh! <laughs> Man, the Senton 3S is one of the toughest RC cars that you can get. Oh! oh! Still going. Footage. Next up, 
I want to try and see if we can jump it out of there, into there, and not hit Andy. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh! It was kind of a cheat though, because it went over that little railing, not the main one. Even though it's got a gyro, it doesn't drift as well as the other one. Now the 6S one, it drifts a lot nicer. Next challenge, Pikachu. So along there, hit this and clear Pikachu. People in the comments say that's not Pikachu actually. So. If you know what that is, let me know in the comments. Is what about that one? Is that one Pikachu? I don't know, I don't watch TV. Well, alright, here we go. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh straight on the head! Still going though. What what? Is it broken or is it the body? Oh! Oh no! It's getting it now! Oh! <laughs> That's where it belongs! But it's still going! It's not finished! Next victim. Here we go, Mojave 4S time. For steering, yep, plenty of speed and power. Yours works, does it? Yes, mine works. Power? Oh, that looks pretty lively, but we're not gonna get much grip today, so that might be for a future video when it's dry. Here we go. That's a lot smoother. Look how smooth that one. Now you can win this your car. More on that later and link in the description to see how. Oh, yours has got no gyro, is it? Oh, yours. Mine has. Yeah, no, it is. No is it not? No. Really? No gyro. So you're saying that's got no gyro? So was I lying earlier to the viewers? Maybe. Did you tell them that? I told them it's got gyro. No gyro. I told them that Sentin 3S has got gyro. So there's no gyro? Oh, all right, no gyro. You learn something every day. I was banging on about gyros the whole video. <laughs> i tell you what though, even with no gyro, this thing handles and drifts just so well. It doesn't even need a gyro. Oh dear, I don't really want to harm this one. Uh, oh no, really, already? Oh, a split on the body, look. Oh, fucker. Yeah, brand new, look. How did that split so easy? I cannot believe how easily that split. It literally just tapped that log there, not very hard. Get in it now. We're gonna take a run up down there, hit this to the tree. Here we go, flat out to the moon. Whoa, that went high. Ooh. Still going. In there next. Oh, 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 oh. oh look at that. <laughs> While it's there, we might as well see if we can do the Pikachu. 
Easy. Easy, for some reason, this 4S has got so much more grip than the other two. Oh look, this side's gone. So that side's cracked there and this side's cracked. I'm not sure how much these bodies are. They're probably not cheap. I'm gonna put it here, how expensive it is or cheap. Look at that. Anyway, let's see how well it drifts. I'll tell you what, it drives really nice. Oh, that drives lovely. That's beautiful. Get all the way around the bowl, just out, up where Andy's pointing now on that one. Okay, not in it, am I? Oh, there we go, look at that. On the nose. Oh, They're still going. Right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Back out. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. I've looked over it all, and I have found some damage. I will tell you about that in a minute. I've got a GPS here as well, so I want to see in this video how fast it's going to go top end. So comment down below your best guess how fast you think it's gonna go. But anyway, one of you viewers is gonna win this car. And because it's got some damage, don't worry, we're gonna fix it. Body-wise, that's probably the worst of it. These are quite expensive, and it completely split here. So, got a brand new body here that is gonna go with the car. Now, the other piece of damage underneath this skid plate here, look, it's broken off. But, I've got a brand new one, so let's get that on there and then take it out and see how fast it can go. So if you want a chance to win this actual car, then click on the link in the description to find out how. There we go, ready for speed run. I'm going to keep the old body on it and the winner is going to get the brand new body unfitted. So you're going to get both bodies, one to bash, one to look nice. Here we are on our speed run location. We've got the GPS all set to zero. Let's go. Oh! So how fast do you reckon it's going to go? 56. I was going to say 45. Look at that! You can two wheel it! Oh wow! 49! 49 mile an hour! Right, I want to see if I can two wheel it. Sorry to whoever wins that car. Yeah. Good job we got a new body. I right, look what this is on there, look. Faster, tougher, and then... Nice split. <laughs> here we go, here we go. How cool is that? Oh, learner. Oh, look out. No, not learner. Cool. Man, that is so cool, and this car can become yours. Link down below. You know at the start of the video where I said I didn't really see the point of this car, you know, with the Centum 3S being much cheaper, and then you got the Harvey 6S being much faster, and I wasn't really sure where this one fitted in. Well now, I do. So although the Centum 3S is extremely durable and fast, it's small size, makes for maybe not the best handling. Then when you go over to the Mojave 6S, it's big size and the heaviness makes it maybe not the most durable unless you're gonna go in and spend a whole ton of money on expensive upgrades. The Mojave 4S just seems to sit perfectly in the middle. It's got the durability of the smaller one and it's got the power and the handling of the big one. And to top it all off, you can drive it on two wheels. That's what done it to me. It's just to icing on the cake. It is not often that I say how much I like a product. I, I sort of let the video do the talking, but on this occasion, this car definitely gets the Kev stamp of approval. <laughs>